Now I'll show you how to attach the ultra low viscosity adapter. So this is the adapter with a water jacket already attached. To attach it to the viscometer, we need to use this bracket, and it comes with an ultra low viscosity spindle and extra cups for samples. To attach the ultra low adapter to the viscometer, we use this bracket, and you see there's a pin here that's going to line up with this uh, depression in the top of the adapter. Screw that on. Once you poured the 16 milliliters in, you can gently insert your spindle until it's completely covered by the liquid. Make sure there are no bubbles. Now you can attach the bracket to the viscometer. This is normal thread, ready tidy. Then you attach the spindle to the shaft, lift the shaft gently, and the spindle is reverse threaded, so lefty tidy in this case. Tighten it like that. Now, to operate at constant temperature, you're going to connect the water jacket here to a circulating water bath. The output from the water bath should enter here at the bottom. Then the water will exit the top of the water jacket and go to the input of the recirculating water bath. And uh, to make the measurement, turn the power on. And we'll select the spindle for the ultra low detector, which is number one. And the speed, you can select different speeds. Turn the motor on, it has to do a complete revolution so it can start averaging the sample signal. We're still under range, so let's increase the speed. You can do this in the middle of the measurement. Well, it's going to take longer to settle down. So that is uh, it's finally settling down, so now we can take a measurement. And in your handout it says how long you should let it run uh, before you take the measurement. To disassemble, just reverse the, the steps that we did to assemble the ultra-low adapter. And then clean and wash out all the parts before putting away.